Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Sorry about that. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today we are making one of my favourite meals ever. Chicken and bacon fusilli. It's really easy. Why am I doing that? I don't know. It's just so simple ingredients. Really cheap, really fun, really quick, really yummy. I'm in a great mood because I've just found out Barry baby number two is going to be a little girl just like Phoebe. So I'm going to have two girls surrounded by girls. Mrs. Barry, Phoebe and then uh, the next girl. So uh, girl name suggestions, send them my way and we'll see how we get on. Anyhow, let me take off the tripod, um, like so. These are all the ingredients you need to make this yummy dish. So uh, just hit pause on the video and write them down. Basically, we've got a pan of water which I've started to boil for our fusilli pasta. Really, really cool. Don't have to use fusilli, you could use spaghetti, any type you want. Yeah, whichever's the cheapest. Yeah. Nice big pan there. What we're going to put in there is our bacon, which we're going to slice. Our chicken, again, slice it into chunks, strips, anything you want. All good. Basil leaves there, going to finely chop those. Big block of parmesan. Cheesy cake, baby. Spring onions, finely chop those, garlic to be chopped. Double cream, which is going to give it, obviously, the, the creamy element. You're going to love that. Olive oil and some pepper. That is everything you need to make this dish. It's really, really easy. So, let's get all the prep out of the way and we'll get cracking, shall we? Cha-ching! Right then, guys, first thing we're going to start off with is our garlic clove. Like so, you might be using one garlic clove. You can use two if you want. All you do, get a flat knife, squish it down like so, and then you can actually peel off the sheath all around it. Really simple and easy. It should just fall off, kind of like this, okay? Almost like you're unwrapping a Christmas present. See all that? Come off like that. You can just chuck that to one side like that and hope it doesn't land in your sink, because um, that will smell. So you can bunch this all together now and just work it back and forth. Finally dice it. You know, if you're rubbish at chopping, you know, just do it really delicately. Like that. You know, there's no rush. I'm not amazing at cutting, but I still make good food eventually in the end. It all comes through, so take your time. You know, you can work it nice and fast like that. Completely up to you. Chop up your garlic, basically. Yeah. Okay, so my garlic's done. Check, there's the evidence there. So, grab your spring onions next. See these little hairy bits on the top? We're going to trim those off with my knife like that. We're just going to ready, just bunch them together. I'm going to do two at the same time, because I'm hardcore. Off they go. Those hairy bits there, off they go. You don't need those. And we're just going to work our way down doing nice thin strips and cuts to make these little discs for spring onion. Work all your way up it, like that. Okay, so the spring onions are chopped up now, and all we've got left is this massive bunch of basil, okay? So either grow your own, buy it in a supermarket, anything you like, or you can even buy it off an illegal dealer. Shh. Right, plonk it down like that. If you've got the stalks on there, don't worry about it. You just want to hack into it. You just want to break it up first of all, and then again, if you want to cut it nice and fine, you can, or you can just tear off a leaf and have a big leaf like that. It's completely up to you. This disc is so easy, you just make it your own. You know, you could literally just have pasta with leaves like that. It smells good. Okay then guys, so you should have chopped up your basil by now. If you've got a little bit left over, that's all good, because right at the end when you do your decorations, it's going to look amazing. Just sprinkle a little bit on top with the parmesan, and all your friends are going to be like, so, what we've got here is our chicken and bacon. You see that? I'm going to try and trim off the fat along there. We don't want that. And also the, the chicken, we're going to just chuck, cut it up into nice funky chunks. Easy peasy. You know, if you want, you can just cook them as massive breasts like that. I think that came out wrong. Right then guys, so with the bacon, nice and easy peasy, you'll see this strip of fat here, which I've already started to cut away. I'm not a big lover of fat, and to be honest, you shouldn't be either, but there are some people that might want to keep that on there. But I'm just going to trim that off, like so. If you've got a dog, or maybe like a cat who's got a massive appetite, Give them that, they'll love it. I'm just going to chuck mine away, and with the bacon, I'm just going to cut it like into little strips like this. Do, 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 do. I've actually got two pieces there, so you'll see that it's coming away like that. And if we cut them down like that again, we've just got teeny little pieces of bacon like that. Perfect for what we need, loving it. Yep, yeah, guys, so with the chicken, as you'll see, all nice and cut up into chunks. All I'm doing is basically just get my knife and work my way down it, just every now and then, just cutting into it like that. If it's particularly wide, I'm just going to go along that way as well. Easy peasy. You can do so much with the chicken. You can cut it into strips. You could even open it up like a butterfly or flatten it with your rolling pin. It's all good. Whatever you want to do, at the end of the day, sexy poultry. Right then guys, so that is all of your prep work done. What I've done is grab my pasta, there's still a teeny bit left, I'm just going to shove it in there. This is fresh pasta, for me that's only going to take about 4 or 5 minutes to cook. It's just got to bring it back to boil and cook away. And we're actually going to let it cool down a little bit and let the heat of the sauce from this pan later do all the hard work. I've got a little guest beneath me here. Hey babe. Hello mate. Who's that? Baby. Baby. Look, these are the scan pictures of the second baby. 
didn't come out quite as good as the first scan, but like there's a, like that's that's a baby there. That's your sister in there, isn't it? Yeah. And what's two sisters? You chose a sister, did I'm you? Not bigger, yeah. You're not bigger. What's your um sister's name gonna be? Um, I don't know. Do you want some help? Say help me. Help me. Yeah. Okay. See so how enthusiastic she was. Help me. Help me. So that's the scan pictures, guys. All good. Right then, with our pasta cooking away there, bing, 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 I've got myself a flame, and I'm gonna put my pan on top of the flame, like so, easy peasy, and grab some olive oil, like that, and just drizzle it around. Let that heat up, give it a couple of minutes, and then I'm gonna shove our chicken in there. Chicken. Okay guys, so I've got the bowl of chicken there, and I've also put the bacon in with it. They're kind of sort of hugging each other, they're, they're in it together, they're going in together in the pan, like so, okay? So we're just gonna break this down, about three or four minutes, because what you're looking to do is obviously cook the chicken and the bacon through. You wanna brown the chicken slightly, and it's gonna be good. What we're gonna add after that is our spring onions, the garlic, then a little bit of the basil, the cream. Whew. Right, my pasta's all nice and cooked. I'm just gonna drain that off in the sink, like so, cha-ching. I'm not gonna leave it in there too long, so I wanna reserve a little bit of that cooking water in there. Groovy. Right then guys, so we've got the chicken cooking away, you can see it started to turn white already. If you're wondering what I did with the drained off pasta, I got myself a massive bowl like this, you probably can't see it, but there is a little bit of the cooking water at the bottom, and it's just in there, if you excuse the pun, chilling out. So it's gonna do that thing. Any minute now, we're gonna add the spring onions in there. Just wanna turn that chicken slightly more golden brown. Yes. Okay, so I'm happy with my chicken and bacon. In fact, I'm more than happy, I'm in love with it. I've got my spring onion and my garlic in this bowl here like that, and all I'm gonna do is just plonk it in like so. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I've got garlic fingers now. Just gonna stir that through, give it about a minute or two, and then we're gonna add the cream, and it's gonna come together, season it in the bellies, baby, in the bellies. Okay guys, so we've got the chicken, bacon, spring onions, and garlic all in there, kind of like a mini festival of color there. What I'm gonna do is grab my double cream like so, and just pour that in. I've turned the heat down on the pan, and so should you. Hopefully it's gonna calm it down a little bit, the sizzle. We just wanna warm through this cream, so stir it through. Oh wow, look at that. It's kind of like a nice calming influence on it, I'm loving it. What we need to do now really is season it, add our cheese, bring in the pasta, and that dish is gonna be done. Okay then mofos, you'll see that this is simmering away, looking good. You don't wanna overboil it, okay? What we're gonna do is grab our big bowl of pasta, and this is gonna be like a giant cauldron. We're gonna stir it around. So, get this off the heat. Cool, and replace it with your big bowl of pasta. Now, grab your pan that you've just taken off the heat and just drop that in, like so. Easy peasy, look at that just falling in there. You've got a nice big bed of chicken and bacon lovingness on that pasta. Whoa! Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get a load of ground black pepper, completely up to you if you don't wanna add that in there, you know, you don't have to. In fact, with this recipe, it's so customizable. You can chuck in peas and peppers, anything you want. Make it vegetarian, yeah. Anyhow, that pepper is in there. I'm grabbing most of my basil, which is chopped, the rest I'm gonna sprinkle on in just a jiffy. Just do that from a great height like that. Ah, oh, sort of like raining basil, how cool is that? Now, my big slab of Parmesan cheese. Not all of it, but a fair amount, okay? Let's go for that. Du -du 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 -du. See that sprinkling on there? That's just gonna stick it all together, almost like a super glue of cheese, love it. Brilliant, so that's my cheese all on top. Can you see it there? Nice big pile of it. What I wanna do now, massive spoon, and just stir it all through. <laughs> Smells amazing, you're gonna love it, trust me. There we go then guys, that is our pasta all in there. Look, you will just wanna jump in there, you kinda of wanna skydive into it. I'm not gonna let you do that, I'm gonna serve it up, I'm gonna eat it, and make you feel hungry, yeah. Right here then guys, that is it all done. What you can do is grab some more parmesan if you want, just grate a little bit on the top, as much or as little as you like. And then obviously if you've got some of those spare basil leaves that I was talking about, just sprinkle those on there. And that is it all done. Check that out, you're right in, you're right in there now. And now you're right out. So let's see what it tastes like. Boo. Right then guys, so I've got this dish all ready here. I just want to quickly say, I can't believe I'm having another baby little girl. It's gonna be amazing. This very table where Phoebe learned to cook chocolate rice crispy cakes for the first time, she gets to teach her, the new girl, Phoebe teaches the new girl, and I film it. We get to start it all over again, guys. It's gonna be cool. So anyway, let's uh, tuck into this dinner. Um, yes, looking looking forward to this. I know it's good, aren't I? I make it quite a lot. It's so cheap and so easy and so full of flavour. I love that parmesan with the basil. Mmm, it's so good. So, mmm, just a little bit more way there. Oh, if I can make that, oh, just a bit more. Absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a good for yourself. Let me know how you get on, and I will see you again.
next time. Cheers! High five!